प्लीज मेक अ वीडियो ऑफ लॉक डायरी सो ओके अब है सो हे वी गो हाई गाइज दिस इज सॉर ऑफ इन दिस वीडियो आई मैन शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट सीक्रेट डायरी ऐप सो दैट्स माई ऐप योर डायरी and you can see here enter your password right if i'm going to enter any wrong password like something g q e w r t and click on secret diary you will see here wrong password now i'm going to enter here right password is 1 2 3 and 4 and click on secret diary you will see here that's the diary here i'm going to write something here this is my favorite diary okay and just click on save you will see your text if i want to edit this text so click on this edit button you will see here that's your text i'm going to enter something more like today is best day of my life fine and click on save you will see that's the second line if suppose if i have entered lot of lines and like if there is a lot of thousands lines so how can we read it so just edit it i'm going to copy and paste this content and show you how it's work in a long content paste fine click on save now here you can see that's the text here and you can scroll this text like this okay so that's your diary now if i'm going to close this app see i'm going to close this app like this and open this again and enter my password here and you will see here that's my text here fine so we are going to create this app so here we go first we need to click on this start new project and project name is my diary click on okay so first we need here one vertical arrangement layout so drag and drop this layout here and make it height fill parent and width is also fill parent like this change your background color like orange or anything now here i'm going to use one text box you can use your password box okay and uh, here you can see text box password text box like this and i'm going to use here one button and click on vertical arrangement and make it center and this one is also center fine now i'm going to use here one label in a center like this and make this label height something 5% like this and remove this text from the label fine now i'm going to click on button and here secret diary and make it font 20 change the default color to something tall and make this text color white fine now okay so that's our first screen here for uh, the password and the second screen for writing okay so you can see your vertical arrangement click on visible off and drag and drop here one more layout that one is also vertical scroll arrangement this should be okay vertical scroll arrangement and make this fill parent and with is also fill parent like this now here i am going to change the background color and here i am to use one text box one text box here one more layout that one is horizontal arrangement and here i am going to make it fill parent and here i am going to use two buttons one is for saving second for editing and make it and i am going to drag and drop one text box more for reading so click on this text box two and make it read only so no one can edit this fine here I'm going to make this text box one multi-line, and height should be something 40%, like this, and make this width fill parent. Fine. Do it like this for also make it fill parent, and height is fill parent, and change the horizontal arrangement background color to something like uh, pink, 
and I'm going to click on here horizontal alignment make it center and make it center click on button 1 and change this text save and this one is for edit fine I'm going to change this button text font size make it 18 it's fine and make it also 18 like this and change the background color of this button so I'm going to use here tile I should find and text color should be white copy this color code and click on another button go to the custom and paste this code here fine and change text color white save edit fine now now here I'm going to drag and drop one cloud daily so we have to save our diary data right so that's why I'm using a storage cloud TV like this. Now, first we need to. So first we need to go to block section, and first we have to work on vertical arrangement. Okay, so visible off, make it vertical arrangement visible, and go to the block section here. Vertical arrangement this one. Now, whenever someone click on button one, I'm going to change this button name. This one button one. And this name is enter password btn. Okay, go to the block section. Whenever someone click on this button, so we have to check the condition the password is right or wrong. So, what I have to do, I am going to use here the control if files, drag and drop here, and click on maths. And we have to compare the password from the text and click on text here and drag and drop this if my password is something 1234 and the password will be same if click on this password text box and you will see your password text box one dot text if the password one password text box one dot text equal to 1234 then what will happen we have to hide vertical arrangement one so click on this vertical arrangement set visible it's false just type here false and there's another thing no it's delete this one click on vertical scroll arrangement make it visible true fine like this just type here true fine else drag and drop your else like this then we have to display the value wrong password in a label so click on label set label one dot text is wrong password fine so that's our first part of our app for this screen now hide this uh, one vertical visible to all and click on vertical scroll element and make it visible now we have to code for this go to the block section again now whenever someone click on save button so click on design and we have to change this button save btn so that's button is save and this button is edit edit btn like this click on ok now go to the block section so whenever someone click on save button like this here now what we will do we have to save our data in a cloud db so we just call here cloud db click on cloud db and you will see here the store value drag and drop there like this and then we have to save this data in some tag so i'm going to click on text and here drag and drop this and text is content like this First, we have to initialize one variable. So I'm going to initialize global variable. Okay, click on variable and initialize global like this. And here, I'm going to initialize this variable. So copy and paste this and make it blank. Fine. And this vari variable name is data. Fine. Now, uh, now what we will do? 
we have to store whenever someone click on save button so we will save this data in cloud DB with the tag of content and which data we have to save we have to save this one text box save data so text box one so text box one dot text okay so here is it text box one dot text so we will save the text box one dot text data okay in the cloud db fine now we have to set this data in the another text box okay or maybe label you can make uh, you can use your label also i'm using your text box too so if i am going to use label so this one is also good okay i'm going to use label here delete this text box too so we will not confuse here background color make it white like this and make this fill parent and make this fill parent and change this and just type here waiting like this okay go to the block section here fine now we have to set label value label tags to the text box something like click on label 2 and set label tags label 2 dot text this one is level 2 click on this level you will see a level 2 yeah go to the block to which data we have to set text box 1 dot text data like this now i have to set the null value the text box 1 dot text data so whenever someone see the value so we have to remove the text from the text box 1 okay so i'm going to just text box 1 set text box one dot text like this drag and drop this one and make it blank like this fine now we have to save the value so i'm going to use a cloud db you will see here we have to uh, use this code like whenever cloud db dot data change so we have to save this value in the variable set global data is get value like this and again click on cloud db and whenever our cloud db got value then what we will do set global data to get value like this make it not tag it's a value fine now we have to set this value like we have to set whenever uh, we got the value so we have to set label two dot text like this get value copy paste like here. fine now the final step whenever someone click on edit button so what we will do click on edit button and whenever someone click on edit button so we will set text box to just copy and paste this line here text box dot text to get data so you can see that the data we have saved in our global variable global data like this fine and set this one is to global data like this okay now whenever a screen will in a slide okay so uh, we have saved the data now we are going to close our app okay and whenever we restart our app okay so what will will happen so screen will in a slide okay so click on screen so whenever a screen will in a slide so we have to fetch, fetch the data from cloud tv so click on cloud db here and you will see here get value drag and drop this and which tag we have to get so we need content tag drag and drop this and if there is no tag so we will set just get it like this <laughs> so here i have done my mistake so please make sure change this click on save button and drag and drop this one here you can see whenever someone long click on save, save button right so now we are not going to do this we are going to drag and drop this whenever someone click on save button like this okay fine okay fine so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask me and comment please like my video subscribe my channel have a nice day be safe bye bye